Hi there, Casey here with another Fusion video. Today we're going to be talking about studio dynamics. Uh, you've heard us go into the reformer and the chair, and now we're going to kind of deal with the ladder barrel. So again, you always want to take really good care of the investment of your equipment. Um, this really can last a lifetime as long as you're very kind, uh, kind to it, and it will be kind to you. So again, we like to use water bottles with water and tea tree oil. Um, it's not harsh on the vinyl, but this has really nice antibacterial, antiviral, antimicrobial properties, um, but it's not too tough on this. So I'm going to put that there. And so of course what you want to do is after every client is cleaned down, the vinyl here, you want to wipe all surfaces. But also with the ladder barrel, you really want to make sure that you go into the rungs too, right? Hands and feet go onto all of these rungs, so you definitely want to be able to wipe this down. Now, depending on what ladder barrel you have, you may need to take out the foot plate pieces. Look underneath, you'll want to clean all of this off clean in these little nooks and crannies between, um, especially in all of the angles in the ladder barrel. There's tons of angles through here, and so using a little bit of a paintbrush can kind of get all the nasty stuff out of it. Uh, the other thing you want to really take care of is how this track slides. Really important. So you always want to check these and make sure that they are still stabilizing the ladder barrel really well because depending on the height of your client you're going to really need this and you're going to need to tighten it because there's a lot of leveraging that goes between the ladder and the barrel so you don't want someone to be midway into a swan and all of a sudden the barrel shifts okay so you always want to make sure that you they loosen and tighten very easily the other thing about the ladder barrel too is that you want to be able to you need to unscrew each side first then you want to move the tracks. You don't want to just kind of loosen one or the other and try to move it because what it's going to do is kind of uh, it gets the uh, tracks off of a line a little bit and it can wear and tear in this movement from the barrel and the ladder. The other thing is that you're definitely going to want to use this guy, your paintbrush, to get into all of the tracks here. And depending on how your ladder barrel is made, um, this was easier or harder. But, you know, going in with a fine tooth comb is really, really important because you want this to glide very easily for you. The other thing that you're going to want to do periodically also is um, get into underneath here to make sure that there aren't little dust bunnies underneath, um, also on the feet so that uh, it can slide through your studio with ease. All right, that's a little bit of care for the ladder barrel, and we'll see you soon.